Okay then, so I've got a quick one for you today. We need to check these now. Because me doing my normal, as I do, checking the updates on the device, checking if anything's new on your Fire Sticks, Fire TV devices, I was having a look through my settings, and lots have been changed back. And obviously I am a sticker for the security and the privacy on my device, and loads of settings have been changed back. Well, not loads, just a couple, but I'm going to show you which ones they were, and you can check yours for me and let me know if they've been changed. Because I think some updates get pushed, and it reverts your settings back to how they were before we have changed them. This happens on many devices, not just Fire TV devices, but it's very important that we check this again now. Before we do that though, if we can, do remember to hit that subscribe button, check out the channel. We've got loads of stuff here at the moment for movies, TV shows, uh, football, uh, streaming, VPNs, tech, all on one channel, closing in on 550,000, depending when you're watching this video, we want to get that to 600,000. But I'm going to be quick today, so let's just get it done. So get your Fire Sticks for me. Obviously, you want to check it's fully up to date. So let's make sure we got the full update. So go to your settings cog and then all the way down behind my head, as always, because they've moved slightly now, you will see a, a My Fire TV section. Click on about and then check for updates. As you see, mine is last checked, fully up to date. It's last checked the day I'm doing this. Fine. OK, so what we're going to do now, let me move back over here. We're going to check these settings and I'll show you the ones which are reverted on mine. So go across to your settings, go to um, preferences, which is now down the bottom again behind my head. And in here, we're going to have a look at a few of them which have changed back. For me, I was just checking my privacy settings because I was checking the cookie consent because it's only appeared on certain devices. So do check if you've got the cookie consent or not and turn it off. And I noticed my device usage data was turned back on again. And obviously you can see my other ones are off like they always are, but this one was on. And this is used personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing and product improvement purposes. I will always have that off. Like the other three in my line here are turned off, that one should be off as well. The whole idea, I wouldn't turn three off and leave one on, okay? <laughs> we use data about your use of this device to provide customized marketing offers you might enjoy and to improve our products and services for all users. You can opt out of allowing us to use personal data collected by the operating system of this device for these purposes by turning this setting off. Turning this setting off will not affect your ability to use the features of this device as we will continue to collect and process your data to live those. So turning that off stops them collecting that use of data. Obviously they still collect something, you have to turn off in each individual app, but that there stops them collecting certain bits. So do check yours for me and let me know in the comments whether yours was off or on. Um, then I thought I'd have a little flick through and in my data usage monitoring, that was turned on as well, which again, I don't use this. I have it turned off at all times. Still watching was a new feature which was added, which is turned off like it should be because I turned it off. Um, so check yours. But the data usage needs to be turned off for me. Monitor data consumption on your Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max. This is only useful if you're on a like a data plan. So... For instance, if you ran your Fire Stick through mobile data or 4G, or if you had a data limit on your internet, then you can maybe keep it turned on so you can monitor it. But for most places where you've got unlimited data at your house, you can turn that one off. Okay, the rest were fine. The rest were as they should be, and I'm glad about that. But what I will do under this video, for any of you who haven't done this yet, I'm sure many of you have, I will link this video here. And this is your Fire Stick settings you need to turn off now. That is uh, pretty much all the settings you need to turn off on your device. There is a couple of new ones. Um, so I will link that one or I might link my up, most up to date list. I'll have a look through, but underneath here, there will be a video linked for you on all the settings you should be turning off on your Fire TV devices. I don't really want to go through it again for you all because many of you have seen it. So just check those ones I've just said. And for anyone who wants the full list, I will link it underneath. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and you'll be able to check out all my videos and you'll, we'll keep you up to date when things change, new settings appear, and we'll keep your device running as well as we can. For those who are interested in their Fire TV stick security, plus want to get a great offer, we will mention one of our partners quickly at the end of this video. IP Vantage VPN is linked directly underneath at $2.99 a month or $3.33 a month, depending on which plan you take out. These are the biggest discounts they've offered us in a long, long time. So do check that out. It's linked underneath. Obviously, that's only if you need a VPN or if you're after one, but I will link that underneath for you as well. As I said, this is just going to be a quick video, this one. So check those settings for me. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that share. Let me know your thoughts underneath, and I'll see you soon.